Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Yvita I. Filbert. And we're going to be discussing her amazing book, A Young Man's Dream, An Old Man's Reality. Available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. And people, I do want to take this opportunity and point out that Yvita was brought to our network today by one of the best publishing companies in the business, Author Reputation Press. So if you or anyone you know have a book that they'd like moved, people, give yourself the best gift you could possibly give. Contact ARP and have their wonderful team move it for you. You can find out more information on them through authorreputationpress.com. And listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Yvita here on the line. Now, the moment you head on over to her Amazon Barnes & Noble pages and you start to do any research on her book, well, you're going to understand what we're discussing today, okay? Now, a young man's dream, an old man's reality, outside of the title, which I'm just in love with, it is a nonstop page turner, people. I'm telling you, it's an adventure novel with hints of a love story intertwined just for safe measure, okay? Now, it's all based on actual events. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think there's something about true stories, right? Something that is based on true events that really just heighten the stakes. And again, maybe it's just for me, but I just it, it, it just kicks it up a notch and really just absolutely takes you along for the ride and i am here for it okay the underlying message or actually even before we go there the, the story is based upon yvita's husband's life okay this was his journey that he embarked upon and what i take from it is that underlying message of perseverance right it's that underlying message of following your dreams and i think that there is something to be said about doing it and completing it. Yvita is the expert. She's written the novel, and she's going to be able to articulate everything much better than I ever could. So people, let's bring her here on the line with us, okay? Yvita, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you very much for being a guest with us today. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, listen, the pleasure is all ours, okay? We are, we're truly looking forward to this. And as I mentioned in my opening, Wavita, I think this story in this novel, I think is, is amazing, right? What you've embarked upon here, what your husband embarked upon is truly a gift. And we are delighted to have you here on the network to discuss it. Now, before we go into the book itself, I want to learn a little bit more about you and your background. So, Wavita, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. I live in southern Indiana, and I live in a red cedar log home that uh, my husband built, and um, I've never wrote anything before, and I just keep thinking my English teacher would be so proud of me for doing this, and it's <laughs> turning out so well, <laughs> and um, I'm just um, just a, you know, a country girl that, uh, I don't know, got lucky and got all the words right, and People are loving this this story that I wrote. What a beautiful story. And at the end of the day, Yvita, the anchor for today's interview is all about your fantastic book, A Young Man's Dream, An Old Man's Reality. Tell us a little bit more about it. This was my husband's dream back in high school. He ran, he read a story about a lady that made this trip. It's called The Loop or The Great Circle all by herself, and he just said, I'm going to do that someday. And um, when he retired, he bought a sailboat and went over it and made it all sail-worthy and um, got it ready, and we took off on this dream that he's had. I'm, I'm just so proud that he got to do that when we did because we couldn't do it now. Mm -hmm. We started out in, in Florida on the Intercoaster Waterway, and Actually, it was Easter Sunday in April. I want to go a little bit further in depth with that. Now, for our listening audience that may be unaware, and listen, I'll put myself out there on Front Street first and foremost, I am also unaware. You mentioned the trip is called The Loop or The Great Circle. 
Talk to us about what that particular trip entails. You start, I guess you could start from anywhere, but you start, we started in Fort Myers, Florida, and you go across the uh, Caloosahatchee River and over to the over to the coast at the Atlantic, and you go up the Atlantic. We went through the Great Lakes and back down to um, to the Gulf of Mexico and back to Florida. It's called the Great Loop or the Great Circle, but you make a circle through the intercoastal waterways. Let's talk about inspiration for a second. Now, before we go to what inspired you to write the book, let's start off with your husband. Now, as you mentioned, he had heard of this journey and heard of this other particular person that had taken it, and then he felt compelled to do it. Well, can we go a little further in depth with that? What inspired him to want to take this journey? That's such a good question. He's always loved the water. He loves boats. And that's the story that he read in high school. I'm going to say she must have inspired him to want to do that trip also. I'm just glad that I got to go on it with him. But it's, I don't, I don't know anything about that, that book, but that's what that has inspired him to want to do this. He always has loved the water and he loves boats and, and, um, he just was compelled that that's what he wanted to do when he when he retired. What inspired you to put the words on the page and comprise this book? Well, I just started out just doing a day by day journal of you know um, how many miles we went and where we stopped to eat or you know what we saw along the way and just the, what happened of the day each day. I t- took a made a journal just thinking myself someday I'll just put that all in book form and Joe will have a have a recollection of what we did that whole trip and not thinking that uh, you know it was going to go nationwide but um, that I just I was just making um, like notes every day along every day as we mm-hmm. went and you know people was people back home they would uh, they kept a map and they would find follow me as I as I went um, you know, as we went every day around the the intercoastal waterway, they would keep keep tracks of keep track of me and know where I was. And now they want to go some of them places that we ate and stopped, and some of the places that we got to um, visit. They want to go back and and visit those places, which makes me feel good that I've inspired them to want to go do that. People, again, we're here on the line with Y Vita I Filbert. We're discussing her amazing book, A Young Man's Dream, An Old Man's Reality, available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. Now, I know you mentioned when we first started how uh, an English teacher in your earlier days would have been very impressed by what you have completed. Now, when it comes to the love of writing and creative writing, was this always a hobby of yours growing up? Where does that love for writing come from? No, I didn't do anything like that. I think... I think what the love that came from from it was just knowing that my husband was getting to do something that he really wanted to do this. And I really wanted to have a, you know, just to jot down things that happened along the way so that he could go back and say, oh, I remember that. I remember we saw that or we did that or we stopped there. And right. there's just so many um, people probably don't realize there. The, I think it's like the earth is like 75% water. There's a lot of water out there and there's a lot of wonderful places that you can only get to by water. That's just, um, it's just such an interesting trip. It's, it really is. It really was, um, fun and mm-hmm. adventure. Why well, let's go a little further in depth with that trip. When it comes to you in your particular experience, was there something that you would categorize as a particular highlight or something maybe that surprised you that you weren't anticipating before you embarked on the journey? There's so many interesting places and, and uh, things that happened along this. It was like a $5,000 $5, mile, 5,000 mile trip that we were on. And, um, you know, just like, I don't know, uh, you go through some, you go through locks once you get up to the Erie Canal. You have to go through locks, which, you know, you go in this cement 
bit, you know, place and the water comes up and you go, it, it raises you up to different sea levels. And we stopped in, um, you know, like Cassette, Kemswick, Missouri, and found a beautiful $300, 300 year old log house that was just beautiful. That was, um, wow. And then we, um, on the Hudson River outside um, New York, we found a old castle that was uh, used to be an arsenal that was just fascinating. We anchored back behind that, and then when we got into Waterton, into New York, I found they had a they had a magazine um, on a table that told you all about this castle that was fascinating. And um, you know, you just you're you know my my imagination i could just see some damsel in distress over there up there waving her you know her hanky and it was just a, a it was just fascinating that that big old castle out there in the middle of the hudson river there's just so many um things that we saw that you don't get to see if you're not on the water mm-hmm. and um going into um another spot the Coast Guard came up beside us and asked us to get out of the canal because there was a deep draft vessel coming through, and it ended up being a submarine coming through, and we had to get out of the way because, you know, some, how huge they are. And it was like, wow, that was an experience. People, listen, those are just a couple of the stories that you're going to encounter. There are so, so many more. Now, I know that you are someone maybe... Writing wasn't a hobby of yours growing up, but listen, you are a bona fide author and you have published this narrative, which means you are someone that has some wisdom that you can offer. So for any new writers out there listening in right now, Yavita, what words of wisdom that you can offer them about the journey they're getting ready to take? I was um, I was surprised. I guess I surprised myself in having the, the confidence or the, I don't know if it's knowledge, just keeping that that journal and keeping the I don't know the the day to day adventure wrote down and and thinking to myself I can I can do I just wrote this book just for my husband I never intended it for it to to go as far as it's went and I'm I would just say you know just follow your dream if you think if you think you can dream it you can do it it's it's, it's not impossible. Just start it, just start your dream, and it, it just kind of like it'll work itself into this book that I I rewrote it several times so that it made sense. And mm-hmm. and uh, had a, um, I had a, an English high school teacher lady um, proofread it for me so I didn't sound like an idiot. And it just, uh, I, I'm just, I am so surprised myself that this book has gotten so much attention and everybody... Um, well, when I showed it to people, when I first started, had it written and, and just telling people what I did, they re- read it. Well, we, I want a copy and then I want a copy. And, and then I ended up going <laughs> and having it published. And now this author reputation press, they reprinted it. And so this is like in a second printing and made this beautiful book that I'm just hoping people will pick it up and read it and find it as fascinating as so far everybody else has. And I just, that would be my warning to people is if, if you start reading this book, you'll be finished with it before you know it because you can't put it down. We have done a full 360, right? We're back where we started when we're talking about that, that message that she just gave in terms of following your dreams, right? And persevering. That is one of the main messages that I'm getting from this book. I mean, it has so much more to offer, but that for me was one of the big things that I took from it is her husband's desire, his fight and perseverance to complete this mission that he just was really destined to do. I love that yeah, it advice. Wasn't easy. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> a 5,000 <laughs> mile trip. No, no, there's nothing easy about that, yeah. I'm sure. And listen, I'm not a yeah. sailor, but I've been on a few sailboats. And, you know, I will take an electric boat any day because a sailboat keeps you busy, <laughs> right? You got to have, you got to be working. Yeah. 
There's not yeah. much time to and just sit down and relax on a sailboat. And not every day, you know, is perfect. Of course. You, know, you, you have storms, you have rain, you have, you know, you come across some problems. but mm-hmm. Absolutely. Just, um, but that's why I think this book is so magnificent, Yvita, is because, again, when you're talking about what you've encountered just on a sailboat, right, in terms of, yeah, some days you have storms. Some days the water is just very peaceful and calm. Well, isn't that just life? I mean, when we really take yeah. a step back and we examine it, people, this is a book about life. This is a book about your particular journey. Now, clearly, it's not about your journey. It's about hers and her husband's. But if you really see it for read in between the lines and take that message, I'm telling you, people, this is much bigger than words on a page. Amazon and Barnes and Noble are where you have to go. Head on over there. Pick up your copies today. A Young Man's Dream and Old Man's Reality by Wavita I. Filbert. You can thank me later because this has so much to offer. Wavita, this has been an absolute pleasure. Such an honor. Thank you once again for being a guest on People of Distinction. Thank you for having me.